I have a surprise for everyone today. For several years, I've flipped around for LED lights and I don't always need a large light. So I've tried several different uh, small lights that uh, range anywhere from 15 to about uh, 50 watts in size. And what I found lately was there's a company that uh, is called LED Tonic and uh, they have an entry in this marketplace and I'm going to unbox it and take a quick look at it. And I think you're gonna be interested because it solves several problems with the lights that are out there on the market right now. Packaging is uh, very nice, box within the box, fairly standard for nowadays, and uh, this is different, having a uh, cellophane bag around the outside. And nice to see that uh, the company uh, has uh, branded and labeled the box. It says on the outside of the box that it is available in 3,500 or 4,000K varieties. And uh, what I've decided to select was the 4,000K because primarily what I'm going to be using this for is uh, small seedlings, which are primarily in a vegetative state. First off, brochure, uh, four color, very nice uh, layout, very simple to uh, read, summation of points uh, bulleted, so um, not overly uh, cumbersome to have to read that particular brochure. It gets right to the point. And uh, the protective uh, foam, very nice touch, additional cardboard support. And this is uh, what you're probably going to be interested in. Kind enough to send a yo-yo hanger for the light and a socket uh, that can be used with the light. Most of the bulbs that are sent out are not uh, including this particular piece, you know, from other companies. So what this is, is a plug-in for standard outlet and a screw-in uh, base for the light itself with an on-off uh, rocker switch along the cord. Now the light itself, one of the reasons that it uh, interested me so much was that if you take a standard LED bulb out of the retail store, it's going to cast its light all over the place, and that's because it's designed to illuminate a room. Now, for grow lights, you want the light to come down on top of the plants. So, on the bottom of this, it's a standard base. It would thread into most U.S. fixtures. But uh, you'll notice that uh, rather than a bulb, what they've done is they've actually put a small quantum board on the end of this. So uh, this is about 36 watts in size, and I'll go ahead and I'll measure it uh, just to confirm the actual wattage that's pulling. But uh, this is the answer. So many times I just have a small number of plants, maybe 16 plants that I'm trying to get up and going. And I need enough light to get the chlorophyll uh, in the plant uh, up and, and producing energy. And this uh, particular style of light is going to cast the um, LED light directly beneath it. And so that'll be focused on top of the plants and I won't be wasting light throwing it all over the room because um, you really need a board like this that uh, makes a nice even blanket that doesn't burn plants in the middle, but um, allows each of those plants to absorb the maximum amount of light energy uh, for their particular stage and growth. So after connecting everything, what I found was that the uh, cord is almost around seven feet in length, so it gives you plenty of room to work with. And it's a nice insulated uh, cord that could easily be hung uh, from a hook and over a rod. Um, it will hang nicely and directly over the top of the plant. One of the advantages of this particular style of light is unlike other quantum boards that have the attachments on the different sides of the board with uh, wires that come up to a central point, using this system allows the light to hang perfectly level. And trust me, you want all of your light on your seedlings and not somewhere on the floor. So with this particular style, I was also super impressed with the chips. Uh, the chips are Samsung, and uh, the Samsung are a very high quality uh, diode. And if we were to uh, flip this on, you can see the uh, light pattern, um, the uh, open 
or somewhat open area in the middle. So uh, what you're finding is is that uh, this particular style of light, even the diode placement, is optimized for a nice even blanket um, right on top of the plants. Now this is the 4000K version. Uh, so I wanted to find out a few things like uh, how much uh, wattage this is actually pulling because it's supposed to be around 36 watts, varying typically 35 to 36 watts. So when I plugged it into my kilowatt meter, I was getting 35 watts and so what the manufacturer is telling us holds fast. This is uh, nice to see an honest manufacturer. Uh, in terms of heat, I've had this plugged in for a while. I've got an infrared uh, probe and temperature varies a little bit above um, the board below the board but uh, what I'm finding is that uh, it varies anywhere from around 86 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit so let me flip this off for a moment and one of the other things that you might be interested in is it comes with the ability to be hung uh, sideways and so if you are looking for some way to uh, perhaps put side lighting into a grow tent this would be an ideal solution uh, it could be easily suspended from the edge of the board and provide light to those areas that the plant normally uh, does not get from a, a light that sits up high on top of the plant. It can also be placed underneath of the canopy and shined up into the plant. So a lot of versatility to this particular light brand and like I said compared to any other light on the market if you are looking for something that is around this uh, in wattage 20 to uh, 40 watts this is the way to go.